I have no understanding of like making a Welling compositor. So, but I presume like the the layout stuff works roughly the same sort of concepts as Xorg. The Wayland oh, no, side. No, no, no. It's, okay. it's fundamentally no, different. No, fundamentally different. Okay. Yes. Uh, Xorg is terrible. Xorg is kind of like kind of like uh, Windows. I think in Windows it's actually almost the same mm -hmm. as in everything is treated a window. It's just right. that Windows have those those hints, those modes, those things that tell the the compositor or the window manager how to interact with them. So mm -hmm. on Xorg, you have the the horrible atoms. Mm -hmm. So you have like a like a list of like around like a hundred atoms, which are just text. And a window can have multiple atoms. For example, oh, this atom tells the window manager to make it sticky, or this mm. atom tells the window manager to make it floating, or whatever. Actually, floating is done even worse. But like, it, they kind of tell what to do. Like, you can do like an atom to skip pager to like skip the taskbar or whatever. Right. And it's it's just like this entire mess of like. Who adds new properties to strings and who supports them and whatever? It's just like zero standardization. It's just like, mm -hmm. give me a list of strings and the the display server maybe understands them. Right. Which is which is which is terrible because like every pop up, every like context menu, every drop down, all of those are windows. Which is mm -hmm. terrible for differentiating them and like well doing anything useful to them. Um. So in Wayland, you only have, like, a window is not really a thing. You do not have, like, strictly a window. There is no okay. concept of a window in Wayland. Like, in the course spec, we don't use the word window once because there are no windows mm -hmm. in Wayland. Because we don't like Microsoft, so we won't use their trademarked <laughs> windows to describe anything, obviously. Right. So... When you have a Wayland desktop, it's comprised mostly of three things. First is the top levels, which mm -hmm. is something that you would consider a window. For example, a browser or Discord or, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, a, a very obscure game uh, with CSGO. a very expletive title that your friend has <laughs> gifted you and it costs like 20 cents on the Steam market. Um, or just yeah, like a so, Oh, <laughs> oh God! I have I have two thousand hours in Neptunia. <laughs> <laughs> yep, absolutely. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Great game. Um, um, so uh, these are top levels, mm -hmm. and then because in Wayland a top level doesn't know where it is, mm -hmm. it can't really open other windows for stuff like pop-ups or. Okay. drop downs or stuff like that because it wouldn't know where to place them mm -hmm. and wayland apps cannot place themselves because they don't know where they are right. so instead of that every top level has a tree of subsurfaces and pop-ups mm -hmm. so a subsurface is just a smaller surface that the top level can say where in its parent surface so in its top level coordinates it is so for example a drop down in chrome would be a subsurface right and a pop-up is a subsurface that can go outside of the bounds of the window, because sometimes if you open a context menu, it may go outside the window. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So all of these are constrained to the top level and work in the top level's coordinate space. Mm -hmm. So there is no other windows created by the app. Well, sometimes if you have, for example, a dialog box, that will open a new window, of course. But stuff like drop-downs and and like uh, hints, like stuff like that, like yep. all this is just subsurfaces and pop-ups. And the third thing is layer surfaces, which a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, confuse with Windows. Because if you're in Wayland, your your background, so your wallpaper, or your status bar, so your taskbar, waybar, or whatever, these are not windows because mm -hmm. there are no windows and they are on top levels because top levels cannot position themselves. So instead, they are layer surfaces, which are kind of like, you have four separate layers mm -hmm. that you can put layer surfaces on. You have two that are below the top levels and two that are above the top levels. So you have, you have background, which is usually for wallpapers. Mm -hmm. You have bottom, 
which is for maybe like widgets or something on your desktop, for example, icons or whatever. Then you have top, which is reserved for stuff like probably like your launcher or your bar. And then you have the overlay, which is like, I don't know, a screen locker, a screenshot utility or whatever. Yep. So we have those layers, which can position themselves, kind of. Mm -hmm. Basically, they can request a size, they can request anchors, they can request kind of like mostly positioning, and they can re request reserved area. For example, like your like your top taskbar or top bar or whatever it's called, way bar. Yeah. So these things often get confused for Windows, and people and people people ask me like, oh, you have window rules for animations, but I I, I can't find way bar or rofi in my list of clients what, what's wrong what happened mm -hmm. well the problem is that rofi or your taskbar are not a window and these kind of work and have like a different set of rules how they govern but generally things that should be layer surfaces are better to be layer surfaces like if you have rofi mm -hmm. there is a rofi wayland fork which opens a layer surface instead of a window, and it works way better because the focus is more streamlined. It's described in a protocol. Meanwhile, if you have a Rofi X11, we literally in X in in WL Roots have a function that tries to guess whether a type of X window that shouldn't be managed by the window manager should be focused or not. Mm -hmm. But it's not 100% accurate because Xorg. Because it's just guesswork. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't always work. It, so it's just better for that to be a layer surface because a layer surface can be can request it to be in the middle of some set of some screen, can request to be focused, can mm. request to grab the focus so you don't click away from it and suddenly it's unfocused. Mm -hmm. So like the, the launcher grabs your focus. Uh, the only downside is that currently it's a WL Roots protocol, but I think KDE also supports it. I don't know about GNOME. Uh, GNOME is like 10 years behind everyone else. What was the protocol, sir? I can just quickly check it. Uh, layer Shell. Uh. WLR Layer Shell. There is a merge request open for like a slightly modified Layer Shell to the EXT namespace. Uh, but we all know how the EXT namespace works. You make, a, you, make a, you make a merge request to the EXT namespace, get 10 comments, you resolve them all, then you wait a year, and then you get 10 more comments. And yeah, and rinse and repeat. Getting anything into Wayland protocols, terrible. Corporate as hell. Uh, just before we get into that, um, GNOME has not implemented it. So, yeah. yeah. But I think KDE has. That K sounds right. Yeah, GNOME didn't have any interest because they don't have any interest in supporting things outside of the Gnome stuff, because they do... I know um, they do their bar low. in a different way. It's like a part of the compositor or something weird. Um, Probably have their own protocol. <laughs> no, they, they definitely have their own protocol for doing it, and they don't want to support, like, adding KDE other things also in. has. KDE also has, but as... If I recall correctly, KDE is actually making progress to move to WL Roots, so... Okay, I did not hear about that. Mm. I heard somewhere that the, the base is actually slowly being ported to WL Roots, huh. which would be a great thing because more standardization. 